Good morning. It is another day of working on the wrecker. Tom Tom is still out of town. He's going to be back tomorrow. So I'm going to be working on the wrecker today. Lizzie's going to start on another little project. Um, our good friend Mike Harris, he lives up on Kolob, and he has helped coordinate the rescue of dozens of stranded motorists up there, typically in the snow, but sometimes even in the mud. He's got a snow blower up there that needs some modification. He drew us some plans. <laughs> Here, Lizzie, look at those plans and tell me, tell me if you think you can duplicate that. I don't even know how this is gonna work, but Matt does and he'll tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm guessing and we're just gonna build them. Okay, we're at 20 degrees, 23 degrees, this one, 24 degrees. I'm gonna move this one to the welding table. It's all ready to be welded up and I'm gonna do the same exact to this one. These actually turned out pretty straight. That's a lot of heat to put in a ribbon like this and not have it a little warp. But it is a little bit, so we're just gonna straighten it out right here with a little cold bending. Well, if he ain't too picky, he'll like that. That'll work for him. Lizzie got the second one done, it is still just Radiating, blazing hot. Radiating heat out of it. So um, we're going to let this cool off. We're going to do a little cold bending on it and then send it down the road. All right, so on the Morver, I came up with a brake pedal pivot system that is really robust, easy to manufacture, or inexpensive to build, I guess. And it's uh, rebuildable, easily rebuildable. and within its parameters, infinitely adjustable. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the wrecker, but I'm gonna build a heavy duty version of it. I have time to get a new belt for this. On the other hand, it's not powerful enough to do any damage if it were to grab something. So these one inch double D steering fittings they're hollow, they come hollow. The three quarter are solid, so I, but the three quarter fits inside there with some persuasion. We're gonna hammer these together, plug weld them, we'll have one solid rod. You'll see. Pretty happy with that. Can you plug weld with that? So these are going to be the joints that hold the brake pedal assembly. Very strong. In fact, this is the same size rod that's on the end of that the rod end. So this is the collar that goes around this. This is what we're going to be welding the brake pedal onto, and I think the arm that pushes the actual. It might even be the same thing. The brake pedal might be both of those pieces. That would be great if it was. When we were working on the banana and we just got the dash welded in, and I think I told Rudy to go polish it, and everybody's like, you don't want to polish dash. It'll ruin, you know, you won't be able to see through the windshield. But for me, polishing is taking a grinding or a flapper wheel like this and knocking all the boogers off from it. We'll weld a brake pedal onto this, and off of that brake pedal, it'll go to the rod that goes into the, the brake booster, runs the master cylinder. So this is coming right along. We're still waiting on the nuts to install these. They should be here tomorrow, I'm thinking. That is a very solid, beefy one inch rod. And even though we don't have the bolts for it, I'm gonna show you where this goes. So this comes right up in here. That goes right there. It's a pretty
pretty pretty precision hole there. But we put a nut on the bottom, put it through nut on the top, and then that's how it works. It's gonna be up there about like that. Oh, right here. Here's my preliminary drawing. I'm pretty sure that that's not the right profile. Man, it's gonna be close. That's awesome. Why am I wearing this shirt? I'm wearing it to protest Robbie Layton. Let me tell you what he did. He came to my yard, he stole my samurai in broad daylight. I was out looking for it and it was gone. I checked the security footage. I thought some of my crew was involved in it. No. Not okay. us. So yes, Robbie stole my samurai in broad daylight. This shirt is how I'm protesting that. If you would like to protest with me against Robbie Layton and his theft of samurais in broad daylight, you can go to RobbieLayton.com, get your own t-shirt. Join me in this fight against Robbie's theft of samurais. What an awful thing to do. Take somebody's thing to fix it up. Yeah, we might have to steal something of Robbie Layton's and then fix it up for him. Yeah, we should. It is another day of working in the shop. We are working on the heavy wrecker. We got Lizzie here. Lizzie, we really need a weather update. It is snowing outside. It's snowing. In the desert. Tom Tom's back. He was gone for two days. Yep, I could be back down here. It's supposed to be negative 37 in Idaho today. So <laughs> nice to be down here in the snow in the desert. All right, so update. Today is Tom's first day of building a little birdhouse in his soul. Back to that. That's today. First. But first, I want to get these pedals mocked up and maybe even finished. Then let's be productive first. No, 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 no. Oh, Tom. What? I got something for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're scaring the frogs too. Okay. Uh, you got no gas pedal, do you? I was saying rev it, but you don't know. Seven. It's seven uh, turns lock to lock. Seven turns lock to lock. It just feels like you're turning yeah. forever. That's almost double, but. Okay, we'll, we'll get you a different orbital valve. That has a crazy deep rumble to it. Yeah. I wanted you to rev it, but <laughs> you can't. I just feel, what's melting off of it? We got a, oh, a bunch Swepco of on there. Bunch of power steering fluid all over the exhaust. Yeah, it is a significant amount. We burped it a couple of times. It's like, yeah. I put a little snorkel on it. Yeah. So I've been thinking about this for a couple of days. So these need to go up in here. Do you want? Can I need the collar? You'll have one in here one and in one in here gotcha. against that. We're gonna have Lizzie weld these in. My Tom goes and cuts some other things there. And I'm going to imagine what I'm going to do with these. Alrighty, those should be on there nice and tight. We're starting Tom's special treat right after this project. Kind of sad to chop up one of these little Borgeson U joints. They're super nice and smooth, but we just need the collars. We just need the ends off of it. So, got to use what we have. I'm going to do some TIG welding and it's going to be awesome. We have this little part right here, which I don't know exactly what it's for, but I know that I'm TIG welding it, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, well, let's. Bolt it in there and see where the brake pedal needs to line up. Yeah, they kind of walk different ways, but when I line it up, they all look like they'll... They all look like they'll grab screw something. Up. Yeah. It's kind of close. It's not bad. It's close-ish. Yeah. All right, I think we're going to need to cut about a half inch off of that. I know, we're taking it apart again. It ain't going to be the last time. Just take that out of there. I think so. Yeah. If I tip it that way, it comes. Yeah. Got it. Bring it over here to the table. All right. That's the it right there. Just keep this from rattling. We'll put JB Weld in there. Same thing we did on the Morvair worked great. You got to make sure to not put too much in there because it'll all squish out. Back in? Yep. 
all the way back in. I need two nuts that are this thread. I don't care about the outside or not. I need two of them. And if you can get them with a flange, that would be amazing. But While Izzy's going to get those, the nuts for the master cylinder, Tom and I are gonna work on this piece of cardboard. So I have a nut that I need to go duplicate. So I am headed to Ace because Ace has popcorn and I like popcorn. So I'm gonna go get popcorn while I look for this nut. Um, I am looking for this nut that fits on this thread. It's a 10 millimeter course. It should be it right there. Try it and see if it works. Perfect. That got it? That How many works. Have, how many? Got my popcorn, got my nuts, and we're headed back to the shop. Cheers. <laughs> Those are going to be perfect. At least I did one thing right today. Oh, did you bring me popcorn? <laughs> oh, two Ooh. things. Let's see. This became this became two of these. And we're working on them. Tom freehanded these. I did, but I used the plasma. The time has come. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. After lunch today is when Tom's punishment starts. And he builds a birdhouse with no measuring tools, but only a grinder and a welder and PPE. So markers okay? No. Straight edge? Definitely a tool. Calculator? It's definitely a tool. What fun would it be if we gave you everything you needed to do it correctly? A grinder? Do I get different wheels on the grinder? Um, it, they all, they can, you can pick thicknesses if you want. Okay. But I'm not going to let you use a thin cut because that's oh, not that's the one I wanted. No. No thin cut, huh? If you want to start gathering up all your tools, I will give you this workstation. I got them. And that's my whole toolkit. That and my welder. And the welder. Can I use a piece of paper and a pencil? The guy said, I didn't make like, the room. Think I, about it. You're a caveman. Somebody dropped you off some electricity, a welder, and a grinder, and some metal. Okay, while all that's going on, I'm gonna figure out the gas pedal cable, throttle cable. I'm gonna figure out where that's going through the firewall and why it's not gonna work. This is warm from being welded and drilled and it is warming up my hands. Here's our throttle cable. I'm guessing this is the end cab side. Yeah. We need a bracket in here. Yeah, a bracket. A bracket can go off this. It's nice if we use this little saw, because then it stays the right. Yeah. That would work for temporary. Just, there it is. Mm. Mm. Nice. But let's, let's run this and uh, where it goes and just see how that looks. Yeah. Cause then, mm, mm, oh yeah. Mm. Okay, this uh, throttle cable comes with its own tools. It's, we got it from IKEA. Self assembly. I don't think it's wicked in there at all. All nice and shiny. Oh, it does fit and it fits tight and that's perfect. And that is what we wanted. Gas pedal off. Draw a hole right here.
perfect. The hole is perfect. I'm building a little piece in here that the throttle cable will go into. It'll stick out here. Pull the throttle down here. I gotta make it so it won't twist. So I'm gonna put this little bracket on the bottom and that'll grab it right there. Something like that. I think I need to bend it down a little bit so it'll point down here. What about it? But it's, it's coming together. All right, so where I drilled this through, the only place I could, there's a nasty little rib. So I had to build this angled spacer. It goes like this. We're going to check and see if I got it to the right angle because I just kind of guessed. Well, I don't know how much better than perfect you can get. Oh, come over here and do mine because i got to bend this to the right angle. Yeah? I'm just kind of guessing. Probably got to do. Oh yeah, that's going to be about right. I think that's backwards, but I think it works. All right, so I'm looking at this and I think we got it lined up right. So, here's the arm that pulls the cable. There's where the cable comes out. I think, I think we nailed it. This bracket is crazy sturdy. It's like a clutch cable bracket. Oh yeah. Nobody wants a throttle bracket bending and losing a couple percent of throttle opening. Yeah. Yeah, it had to be solid. Okay, let's do it. Okay, pull it out a little. Okay. Okay, right there. Okay. Can you can you lock it? It's locked. Okay. Just pull throttle. Okay, that's our setting then. How does that line up? Does it look good? Beautiful. It lines up super good. And it's solid. So no matter how fast I step on the gas. No matter how fast I step on the gas. I'm not going to bend your bracket. I'm not going to bend it. If you're uh, not familiar with what's going on here, we did a job a little while back and Tom was tasked with the customer's keys. Here, handle these. Okay, I'm going to put them on this shelf while I go to the bathroom. Okay, and then we drove, and then we're like, where are the keys? And Tom's like, I don't know. <gasps> yeah, I know exactly where they are. They're on the shelf next to the bathroom. So anyway, um, we ask what punishment should be dished out for such an egregious lapse of judgment. Am I over-dramatizing I, I think way over-dramatizing I don't know. I don't know. Because I think it's Tony in the tones. Forgive me if it's wrong. Definitely Tony said that he should build a birdhouse out of metal using no measuring tools, only a welder and a grinder. And I thought, perfect. So to make it interesting, I gave him some uh, measurements. So really quick, it is seven and a quarter inches wide, four rack units high, 21.86 centimeters back, and it's a 712 pitch roof. He can embellish it and do whatever, as long as the main structure are those dimensions. The closer he gets to those dimensions, the less angry I'm gonna be. <laughs> So what's his punishment if he doesn't like even come close? The internet will get him. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're headed to lunch. When we get back, Lizzie and I are gonna keep working on the wrecker, and Tom is gonna be building his birdhouse. Oh, birdhouse time. All right, let's get it done. If you gotta eat a turd sandwich, you might as well chomp it down. All right, we're back from lunch, and it was delicious. What did you have for lunch? Spaghetti. And I had lobster ravioli, from Main Street Cafe. If you ever go to Main Street Cafe, everything they have there is good. But my favorite is the lobster ravioli. Tom, where are you? I'm back here. All right, so it's official. Tom's sentence starts right now. All right, my punishment for not taking the keys with us on that very long recovery is a birdhouse. I have to make a birdhouse, but there's some very painful rules. I'm going to show you here on my phone. I have to make a birdhouse with these exact dimensions. I don't know what a rack unit is. I'm just gonna have to make that up. Somehow I have to convert centimeters to inches, but it's not really gonna matter in the end because I can't use a tape measure. I can't use anything yeah. except a grinder. So this disc and the welder, that's all I get. So I'll probably convert to inches so that things make sense in my head. 
And then I just got to hack it out of this piece of steel and make something that looks like a birdhouse. And then I'm going to be judged on how close I am to these crazy dimensions. All right. Oh, also, I have to do it all while wearing a special shirt. I don't know where this came from. I'm told it can't showed up in the mail. I don't know if somebody ordered it for me. If a fan sent it, thank you, kind of. But I get to wear this while I make my birdhouse. All right, so there's the brake pedal. Show you what we're gonna do here. Go ahead and stick that through one of those. So that is how that goes. Yeah, that bolt. Pretty plenty long, but it'll work. All right, and then this goes right here. We're gonna that slides on to there. That goes on right there. And we're gonna get this all tacked together, then pull it apart. We're just gonna weld it up. I'm gonna do my math down here because I'm not allowed to use any paper or pencil. But all of this dust was made with a grinder, so I think it's fair game. Eight times. Hey, you guys aren't allowed to see how this works. No. <laughs> 20.22. Peanut, don't, don't, <laughs> don't stop at the numbers, Peanut. Peanut. 21.86 minus 20.22. Sorry. Okay, we're going to go. We're gonna call that eight and three quarters of an inch. So it is seven and a quarter by eight and three quarter and then rack units. I have no idea what a rack unit is. Wasn't allowed to look it up. We know that it needs to be four rack units high. So I don't know if this is a tall skinny birdhouse. I don't know if it's a short fat birdhouse. I don't know what kind of birds go in the birdhouse. We're gonna make it six-ish inches and just see how that works out. My panels need to be seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. That's about 14 and a half. So we're just gonna cut this in half and that'll be a side. I get to use this. That's gonna be painful, but we'll hack our way through. The other sad part about this is Matt said no clamps. I have no way to hold this. So I think I'm just gonna stand on it and chop it up. There was a fluff about that primitive, there's a like a primitive construction YouTube channel, yeah. but then they like saw like heavy equipment tracks and uh, stuff. So they're not really they doing that. They turn off the that. cameras and they do whatever they yeah. need to do. We're not gonna allow that here. <laughs> You're gonna watch the whole See this? birdhouse. I'm taking this. Like Let's I like that. the design of just two lines here and then like four. Let's do one, it. Two, three, four on this. this is our brake pedal, and I'm making it so it has traction. Two birdhouse pieces. Look at that, four something rack units tall, seven and a quarter inches wide. Okay, well that's a great start. You can tell Tom has his hearing protection in because he's yelling at everybody. Yeah. <laughs> You're in 0.75 parsecs and you've got to do that in less than 12. Parsecs are a unit of distance. Whoa, well, parsecs are huge. You're 0. 0.00. Seven, five. I got nothing but time and grinder discs, man. That'll work. That's pretty cool. Yeah. He's hardening it right now. It's almost like a leaf. I'm starting to think that we're the ones getting punishment. I hope this is the right ratio because we just guessed. Well, I'm not the only one who guessed. It's a day of guessing in the shop. We're headed to AutoZone and 
It's clear blue skies. It was snowing an hour and a half ago, but it's still windy and cold. Okay, I am headed to AutoZone to pick up a bolt that is a quarter inch, kind of like this one, uh, that the cable can go through so that we can hook up the gas pedal. Oh yeah, this has got different yeah. sizes in it. I don't... All right, we got what we needed and now we're gonna head back to the shop. It's so cold. <laughs> I've been watching Tom's progress. Looks like Lizzie did a good job getting us what we needed here. We're gonna put this to the test. Rowdy came through Christmas oh. Lake. That's the five eight longer. that's the five eighths longer. Let me show you what these bolts are for and why they are so important. We have to space the rotors out this much so that the new calipers fit. And so here's the original bolt. It went through and went through a bunch of stuff but it's too short and these were a little bit of a trial to get here because i am not a good communicator everything's matt's fault but i'll take that because if it's right it's also matt's fault and sometimes that happens 50 50. <laughs> hey tom i like your shirt oh thanks i didn't notice that you were wearing that yeah today. i'm working on my birdhouse right now uh -huh. come look at this jamie if if that shirt impresses you you should see what me and lizzie did over here Woo, look at that. A brake and a gas pedal. Cool. Yeah. Did you put all the little lines in it? Lizzie did all that. Made it fancy. Mm -hmm. Rowdy has a Marty McFly truck too. If you watch Back to the Future, first up, the first one, Marty McFly's truck at the end, it's a Toyota. Rowdy has the Chevy version of that truck. <laughs> Super cool. It is a 1991 that time capsule. Okay, take a break from that for a second. What are you doing? Go push the gas pedal all the way to the floor. Right. Get me. And I'm gonna push this right there. This brake pedal is cool. I like that. I'm gonna steal this idea. Are you for Dig Dug? Yeah, yeah. Or... All right, that's the approximate length right there. That's within spec. Okay. It looks a little wide to me, but I'm trusting the math. Square root of 293 should give me a perfect 712 roof pitch. Is that right? No, it should have been 193. It should have been like 14 and a half. Because 15 squared is 225. I'm off, man. The irony here is that me and Tom are using the same amount of tools. You're just happy about it. So we want the gas pedal to stop on the floor at the same time that this hits it stop. So we're gonna get that right now. Okay, try again all the way to the floor. Off. Well, good thing we left ourselves some adjustment. Okay, all the way to the floor. We now have a working gas pedal. Yay! <laughs> What do we got? 712, what do you think? I can't say. I literally can't say. You're right. Tom's fingerprints are on everything that you've ever seen on this channel. The banana, the Morver, the fact that I have a YouTube channel. I, I have asked Tom to participate. He, I've been using him as a sounding board since 19, 95 for everything that I do. So I would consider Tom to have been one of my gurus. I've got several of them, but he's one of them. So uh, it pains me to have him working on a project <laughs> in my shop that I can't talk to him about. I appreciate that. What if I put a little chunk on it? Birds, like, face, birds might want to have a little fire or something in there. I'm going to do a little chimney. Apparently, this task wasn't difficult enough for him. <laughs> But you probably heard me in the background there reminding Lizzie to keep her poker face on. We can't give Tom any clues. So here, let's, let's practice. Is Tom doing a good job on this? Hmm. So I was back here looking for some good chimney material because I thought it would be cool to add a chimney. You know, something. And look at this piece. That's a pretty heavy-duty chimney. Does that look familiar at all? 
This is the piece that Matt left up at Paul's house. I'm checking to see if I put the pipes in here. They are not in here. And they had to go back and get it, or Michelle brought it down because Matt forgot this. I'm going to weld this on as a reminder that anybody could forget something. Maybe we can have Matt do a little thing, like make his own birdhouse. We'll just put that right here. That's not going to work. So I'm going to have to grind on this for a little bit because I think it needs to be on here. I, would, I was cheating. It was accidental. I'll go back to grinding this over here. We're putting brakes on it. Oh. There's just no good way to yank this out of here without a clamp or a pair of pliers or something. like an outhouse. <laughs> hey, that's not funny. The birdhouse is complete. I've been working for several hours now. I'm not proud of all of it, but it is two spec, solid. This is a little feature I added to the birdhouse. It's a chimney. Does it look familiar in any way to you? Yeah, that's the bump stop or the steering stops for the Right, right. These are the stops that Michelle had to bring us. Oh. This is going to be the difference between first and second place. So I should have taken them back. Yeah. Dang it. I'm going to check them really close for sabotage. <laughs> Did I just get roasted? Yeah. This birdhouse is just a reminder of what you forgot to bring with you. All right. I'll accept it. I will accept it. What should Matt's punishment be? So For let us know in the comments what Matt's punishment should be. I think he should have to make a birdhouse, but the rules ought to be different for Matt because I think he would enjoy this way too much. This is how I would typically build a birdhouse. <laughs> Look at these welds. Give me, like, uh, they're pretty rough. I'm not, this is, I, there's huge gaps and stuff. Well, of course, you're cutting it with a grinder. What kind of fool would do that? <laughs> All right. I really wanted there to be a circle hole in the side for the bird to come in and out, but I can't think of any way to put. What do you think of this yeah. birdhouse? Oh, a bird? I thought it was a mouse. <laughs> Where's the door? That's what we were just asking. Why in there? I think, I think this would work as a birdhouse like this if it had a bottom. So it needs a bottom. Well, I thought I was, but now it needs a bottom and maybe a door. The choir factor, he adjusted a little and couldn't do too much. You know, he yeah. probably if it's not better tomorrow, I'll get an x ray and then he didn't know what to do, you know. Ed was out there doing back handsprings and he yeah. slipped, kind of jammed his neck a little bit. Yeah. But I think he's going to pull through it. He's a pretty tough old dog. <laughs> Measure me up. I want to see how I did. All right, seven and a quarter inches wide. Yeah. You are six and 15 sixteenths. Ah. And you are seven and a quarter on this side. Of the That's the end we should be Dude. measuring. 21.86 centimeters. Does anyone want to convert that? 8.6, so eight and five eighths. All right, I said eight and a half. Eight oh. and five eighths, I can't oh. believe it. It's, it's a little more, it's eight, it's eight and 11 sixteenths. Oh, you're getting really picky there. Eight and it's right there. It's pretty much the same. So my mouth was off a little bit, but so was my fabrication. And now I'm spot on. Yeah, they canceled each other out. How big this is a rack unit? This wasn't fair. It's seven inches. Seven. No. You're not going to the top of the gable, right? No. You're uh, six and seven eighths. Six and seven eighths. Amazingly close. Uh, what degree is the seven twelve pitch? 30.26. 34.3. That is pretty good. <laughs> For not being a roofer. 30, 37.5. It's not the same on both it sides. Well, it warped a little when I put the chimney on. 
What's it supposed to be? Thirty. Thirty point two. So you're slightly steeper, which is, you know, better. The roof the, will last longer. The birds will be happy. Okay, so we're gonna let Tom finish this with good to with whatever tools he wants, and then, uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out what to do with this. We're gonna do something good with this. All right, and don't forget to comment about what Matt should have to do. I don't like this game. Like, <laughs> you started it. All right, so this is the first rotor going on. It's We're uh, in the process. Like, we've already converted it for the juice brakes. So we've converted from air brakes to juice. That meant we went from 17 inches down to 16, so we could use the Kodiak calipers. And then the Kodiak calipers are super wide, so the other part of that was this spacer had to go in there because there wasn't enough room between here and this flange here, the hub flange. And so now there is. You'll notice that we use this extension right here. There's a rumor going around that if I have 222 foot pounds of torque right here, for some reason I don't have it there, I'm gonna have some frictional losses because I'm on this pad. But it doesn't matter if it's torque, because what it's gonna be, it's gonna be filled with kinetic energy, but we're not gonna be releasing that kinetic energy. We are simply transmitting it through there. So we are getting 222 foot pounds here, regardless of how long our extension is. Now, if you put it on a rattle gun, an impact, yeah, because that, that will be storing and releasing and storing and releasing, and it'll release both directions equally. So when the rattle gun's on its off cycle, it's gonna be going back. So yeah, but this is perfectly, perfectly legit. Okay, let's finish putting this together. One, one almost done. I don't hear any touching, but that is like... That's precision work. I was getting, I've got some grief for using a measuring tape on a lathe. All right, we got this all back together. It's ready for oil and brake pads. And it's We're done. Here. We've had this bolted to the side for a while and it's just been an empty shell. So we're putting the real Premier Power Welder on the side here and it's got all these wires running out. They got to go up to the alternator. And that's why we're doing this right now is because when we start this, we need to have this hooked up to the alternator so we don't burn it up. So we'll get this all put together. Then when we run, we'll have power everywhere. We can do it a bad way now and okay. do it good later. All right, I like that. I like that in a way. Something about that really appeals to you? Yes. The nowness? This is too long. All right, I'm sad because the output on this is way bigger, which is good, but we don't have a nut for it. So we have to go back to the store and find a metric nut to go on the alternator output. Ace, again, I'll be back with a nut and a flange nut. So this won't stay on anymore. And if it touches any of the steel in the bed, it'll arc and melt like that did right there. Oh, oh! There's like piles of melted lead down here. So I think I'm just gonna cut this bolt out and put a new bolt in there. Cause if it falls down here, it's bad. The Lizzie brought me popcorn. All right, this is a very temporary installation. We got wires running everywhere. They'll have to be cut down, but we just want to drive it. Hey, Matt. Oh, what the heck? Still welding up there? Yeah. <laughs> This isn't super pretty, but that's how we're gonna run it. That should work for now. All right, I gotta finish this birdhouse and we do not have a lot of time. There's so much work that has to be done on the wrecker and we're, we gotta get it out of here. We gotta get to King of the Hammers. But I need to finish this birdhouse and I wanna keep the style. I don't want it to look, I don't wanna finish it with anything nicer than what I've been doing. So I'm gonna add just one tool to speed things up that won't make it too pretty. I'm gonna use a thin cut disc and we're gonna keep working on this thing until it's finished. Here we go.
All right, looks like they're gonna have to be kind of small birds. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger. Square birds. That's beautiful. Maybe we'll put a perch. Don't birdhouses have like a little perch? I should add a perch. That should be good. We'll weld that right in here. The last thing I need to do is make a base. I need some kind of a bottom so the birds have a place to sit in there or nest in there. So I grab this piece. We'll chop up a bottom. That'll do. Okay, that's gonna have to do. All right, the birdhouse is finished. I don't know that any birds will ever live in this, but it is finished. I've completed my punishment. This thing's pretty beefy. It's gonna hold some fat birds. This is my completed birdhouse. Oh. This is amazing. Are you sure you measured that? No, I did not. Were you tricking me? <laughs> All right. Well, now what are you gonna do with it? I was thinking we could use this birdhouse to help support BSF. They're coming to the record games March 9th, 10th, and 11th. And they've got to come like two yeah. thirds of the way across the nation. Everybody else is local. So they have this huge drive to help pay for their gas and their housing. We're going to put this up on eBay so you can bid on it, buy it there to help support BSF. 100% of the money, including All materials the, and yeah. the shipping, I'm gonna, everything. I'm going to donate the materials and the shipping. I donated the time and but, some blood. Tom's going to sign it. Lizzie's going to sign it. And I'm going to sign it with the welder. That looks good. That's Lizzie with a Y. Yes. Oh, yeah. These gloves make welding amazing. You will be able to find this birdhouse if you search on eBay, More Birdhouse. That's M-O-R-R -R, Birdhouse. And there'll also be a link in the description. And I'll probably pin a comment. Let's get BSF's trip paid for. He is the original off-road YouTube star. All right, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. We are temporarily hooking up the brakes because we're in a hurry. How many days do we have? How many work days do we have till King of the Hammers? Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We'll skip Sunday, Monday, because we leave on Tuesday. Getting down to the wire. Yeah. I just have one goal, and that is to climb Chocolate Thunder. I'm pretty sure it'll do it, but I also want to. Okay, what do we got to do to drive this out of here? Just bleed the brakes? Bleed the brakes. Lizzie, start pumping. Slowly, nice and slowly. Okay, pump, pump, hold. Okay, pump it kind of slowly. Okay. Yeah, this is enough to drive it. Should we drive this thing? All right, it's been a long day. We have moved a lot of steel from various places in the shop and put it mostly on the four corners of the wrecker. But, kind of got breaks. But, we're going home and we have a job in the morning, so we can't do it first thing in the morning, but we're gonna be driving very soon. Yeah, in fact, we're going to be driving so fast, it's going to seem like this.
this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna step on the gas and you're gonna turn the wheels the other way and we're gonna whip around so the nose goes that way. under its own power, not electric. Initial first drive impressions. We need levers to shift the gears because <laughs> the pliers and the and all that's just not working good. Um, we do need to hook up the hoses for the master cylinder booster. Were you in any low ratios? What were you in in the transfer case and transmission? I have no idea. <laughs> we, have we got no it in clue. a year. <laughs> yeah. You don't but know if that's low or if that's it's low low yeah it's plenty frisky though oh yeah you were look at this you tore out this the gravel out here yeah. because of the brake and shifting situation i am not getting froggy with it this is like yeah. quarter throttle stuff it has not had the pedal to the ground nice i almost took out the trailer huh <laughs> yeah you came swinging around and the boom i'm like ah oh, does he know how long he is back there nope i don't know i don't understand this thing at all I've never driven a monster truck. I need to talk to Casey Liddell and see if I can remedy that. But I feel like it felt like a monster truck. It almost did. So these axles come with a ton of positive camber because they're made for, you know, holding like 30,000 pounds. So if you totally loaded this down, they would theoretically level out. I don't know if we're ever going to address it or if that's just the way it is, but that is so awesome. I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> that's exciting. I think it needs better brakes and shifters. Yeah, yeah, it does. Deep, deep. I think you're right. And a throttle return spring. <laughs> Is it really? Oh not, yeah. Doesn't so snap when, back? when you, yeah, when you hear me rev it, when it looks like I'm kind of out of control, it's me stabbing the throttle again to get it to spring back. Oh. So it's got a couple of things okay. that make it dangerous to drive. I think we can fix those in a couple of hours, and Be ready for King then Rangers? everybody can test drive it. We got to go get it in the sand, and yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be good. This is awesome. I'm excited. It's so cool. It finally run. We finally <laughs> drove it. We'll put it back in the shop. Put it away. said they were gonna die before this was done haven't died yet <laughs> I really honestly hope you haven't all right I am stoked if you can't see it on my face it's because my beard is hiding it Lizzie doesn't have a beard <laughs> you can see it all right there right all there. right here we have worked for almost a year on this and 11 we... days it will be a year since the first day we oh. started working on this frame we need to have a birthday party. Yeah. We are. We're going to have one. <laughs> Holy smokes. Thank you guys so much. We have, this is a milestone. We're not done, but. It's alive. It's alive. It's this alive. is, this is the re-energization that we needed. <laughs> Holy Just smokes. finish all the way. This, it, it's peppy. It was ripping. Yeah, you were tearing it up in the yard. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this journey. We're still on it. We just really appreciate all of you watching. And uh, man, we're just gonna, we just got more to do. Yeah, we'll we got on. tuning, lots of stuff to finish, tie up. How does it sound? Does it sound okay? It sounds, it sounds like the more bear. Yeah, it louder. It honestly sounds like a, really close to the more bear. I love those Flowmaster yeah. HP2s. Flowmaster, reach out to me. That's it for today, but thanks for watching. Oh yeah, we're giving away one of these at the games.